All right, so today we're going to go over intro two. Um, intro two is just another mill circle. However, intro one, we did an inside pocket or a pocket boundary of a circle. Intro two is going to be a boss or uh, a uh, circle left standing. So the first thing we need to do, we're going to start a new program. So I'm going to go to program manager, hit new conversational and create a new program. Next, I'm going to go in and set up my stock geometry. So I'm going to go to part setup here, more and stock geometry. I'm going to do a box. I'm going to say, yes, I want to manually size my stock and I'm going to set up the dimensions. So it's 3.75 in X. It is four inches in Y and it's one inch thick. The front left corner is zero, so I don't have to shift anything, so I don't need anything in my XYZ reference positions. Next, I'm going to go set up the tool that I need. Uh, the tool that is in the list here is a three-quarter center cutting end mill. So I'm going to go to tool 100. I'm going to set up an end mill. We're going to make it uh, three-quarter. I'll just put some arbitrary numbers in here for surface footage, chip load, and number of flutes. Again, we have some videos on both uh, setting up stock geometry, creating a new program, and um, doing tool setup. If you are just starting out with this video and you haven't gone through those yet, you might go back and take a look at them. So now we have our part setup or stock geometry done, tools are set up. Uh, program created. Now we're ready to start programming. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the input part programming. We're going to do a mill circle. So we're going to select the milling tab. It's a circle. And I'll just go ahead and start filling out the information from the print now. So the center is going to be 1.88 in X, that's a print dimension, upper left corner. Uh, it's two inches in Y. The radius, it gives us a diameter. So I'm going to put a 3.38 divided by two. Again, any place we can put in a numerical value, it can be done as a math function. So that gives me a radius of 1.69. Our Z start is a rapid two position above the part. Let's go 0.1. And our final depth based on the print is a quarter inch, so we'll go minus 0.25. Start angle, blending on or off at the three o'clock position or zero degrees is fine, so there's no reason to add anything there. We'll leave that at zero. Let's go down and uh, select our tool from the list. We know it's tool 100, so I can either group this by type Go find it in the tool list. Find a three quarter inch, double click it. Or I could have simply typed in 100 enter since I knew what the tool number was. This mill circle is going to be an outside. We do want to blend on and off, so we're going to leave those blend moves enabled. You can see that our feeds and speeds set for us. I don't need to peck this. I'm only going a quarter inch deep. We'll need a plunge feed of maybe 10 inches a minute. So now we can draw and we see that we have a circle, a boss standing up, but because of the size of the material and because of the tool size that we used, we didn't clean up the corners. So we have two options here. Number one, and the old school way of doing things would be to go to our review screen. Again, that's our little yellow, blue, and red um, building blocks icon. Highlight our first block. Uh, go to our, mil, our uh, multiple block functions key here, F1. Copy and paste. What I want to do is create a circle a little bit bigger than the last one that I did so it'll clean up those corners. So I could go in and change 
the radius, let's, maybe we make that uh, 1.8. Draw it and keep making that larger until it cleans up the corners. That's option one. However, the control, let's go delete that block we just put in. So I go to my review screen, I highlight that new block I inserted, block one, I'm going to delete that. I could, all, I could have deleted that by going to multiple, multiple block functions and hit delete, or I hit the delete on my keyboard or keypad on the control. The other option that we have is instead of doing an outside, we can select profile outside. What profile inside or outside does, it gives us a new field that shows up here and it's called max offset. The max offset is the distance from your finished feature to the corner of your material or the distance away from the part, the, the feature that you wanna start plus the radius of the tool. So one way we can figure out what that is, is anywhere on the graphic screen, if I'm looking at this in a 2D view, top-down view, for example, I can measure. So I'm gonna click on this measure button here, click somewhere pretty close to the edge of the circle. I'll click and drag out to that corner. That gives me a dimension here of what that measure distance is. So it's a little over one inch. So now if I go back to my program, in that max offset, let's say we put 1.125. What that'll do is it'll start an inch and an eighth away from our finished feature, we'll mill a circle, and it will step over each time by whatever the step over percentage is here in this field that I've highlighted for step over percent. So we're kind of pocketing from the outside in. So now you can see that we've started outside and we're moving towards the finished circle. So that's how we program um, an outside boss or a mill circle outside boss when we have a piece of material where the corners didn't clean up. Uh, we simply use the profile outside in a mill circle. So that's intro two.